barely 13 months into 2023 general elections and the controversial ambitions of the godfather of Nigeria's politics, source clues refuse to. Nigeria 247 news that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has detained the Director General, Voice of Nigeria, VON, Mr. Osita Okechuku, over alleged misappropriation of funds, of public funds, to the tune of 1.3 billion naira. Hmm. Usita, 1.3 billion naira. The source added that the DG arrived at the headquarters of the EFCC in Abuja at about 1.30 p.m. to honor its invitation. As at the time of filing this report, Okichuku was still in the custody of the EFCC, the source stated. He is still with operatives of the EFCC. When contacted, EFCC spokesperson Mr. Wisin Uwajaren confirmed the invitation of the VONDG but declined further comments. The Director General Voice of Nigeria, Mr. Osisa Okechuku, has advised Ashiwaju Bola Tinumbutu, nas uh, the national leader of the All Progressives Congress, to jettison his presidential ambition by backing a younger candidate from the South. Okechuku, a foundation member of the APC, made this submission while entertaining questions from journalists at the 2021 AK Day in Abuja on Sunday. If one is consulted by a national leader, Ashiwaji Bola Metinumbu on whether he should run or not for the exalted office of the President of Nigeria in 2023. My candid advice will be that he should use his abundant almighty God's endowment to unite the APC and unite the South and by extension our beloved country by backing a candidate from the Southeast, he said. Okichuku advised the APC leader to throw its weight behind a younger person from the south especially the southeast geopolitical zone to emerge as the president in 2023 tinubu by so doing okechuku said we would have united the south forever as some northerners have complained that why they are reluctant to support southern candidates is because of lack of coercion among the two major geopolitical zones in the south the von boss posited that if tinubu widens his search he will definitely find a credible candidate from the southeast who will easily defeat the presumed candidates of the pdp former vice president atiku abubaka according to him by so doing he would have wittingly used one stone to kill two birds unite the apc and unite the south and by extension the entire country. He emphasized that it will be statement-like statement for Ashiwaju to be a kingmaker than throwing his heart into the ring. Ask why Tenubu should be resisted by to only kingmaker and not the king himself. Okejuku argued that the scripture said there is time for everything which happens on earth. I am one of those that of those Buharis who have tremendous respect for Hachiwaju for the critical supplements he added to Buhari's 12 million votes bank, which resulted in a 2015 presidential election victory. It is not a main feat when you consider that with Buhari's votes bank, we were unable to win in 2003, 2007 and 2011 until the major of the legacy political parties, where Tinubu played major role. On whether it's an agreement between Tinumbu and Buhari in 2015 to be his running mate in the presidential election, Okechuku answered, I don't know of any agreements. Okay. Hmm. So, what uh, is being insinuated now is that uh, it is political which owns because uh, begins as Buhari government backed EFCC and goes after critics of Tinumbu. Okay. So you think uh, that has nothing to do with uh, uh, Tinubu in the first place? In my opinion, I don't even think so. It could be a coincidence or whatever because even the presidency, you think the presidency is even ready to even support uh, Tinubu in the first place, <laughs> which I don't think that okay, if, if anybody is going to be criticizing Tinubu or wants Tinubu not to even contest, then the presidency will want to go after the person. Or you think that uh, Buhari really wants Tinubu from all indications, people know that Buhari in the recent, because people have been singing it over and over, and he has shown some kind of a um, reluctancy 
not even trying to accept Tinubu from all indications. So to me, I don't think that is even is tenable. Anything could happen, okay, but just that is just my own observation. I don't think that is what is happening. The question is that is there anything like a 1.3 billion that was misappropriated? That is the question that needs to be answered because nothing goes for nothing. Nothing goes for nothing. At the end of the day, if you have not done anything, I think the reason why somebody will just come and say, "Oh, you did this, did this," and meanwhile you never did such a thing. So how is that going to fly in the first place, or is it a kind of threat? Uh, you know, all of them they know themselves. That is the problem we are having in this country. They know atrocities at uh, which they each and every one of them are, are you know has committed, but they will not say anything. But the day you are going to make them like this, eh, they will just come after you. That is that is to say you that say uh, rob my back, I rob your back. That is what has been happening, and it is a very very dangerous thing. That is why this country will never move forward. So if you just if you do anyhow, you see anyhow. That is what a uh, it means. If you do anyhow, you see anyhow. So they've been covering themselves, but I don't think that a uh, really uh is the case here. Yeah. You see the first person to be arrested by the EFCC if he has skeleton in the cupboard. If you face, face it, I don't even know why most Nigerians attach tribal sentiments to all issues, especially the Igbos. You people brought tribalism to this country. Like, seriously? So you can't even reason and understand the word sentiment and sentimental act upon your near proof of being educated. What does the arrest of Ekechuku got to do with Ashiwajibola Tinubu? I don't think any... I don't see any correlation, but you know that these people, you cannot even trust them enough. But from the face value, you could say, what is the relationship between his RS? Was there anything like a 1.3 billion in the first place or what? Because you can't just make up something. In the face value, you see that uh, you think that or you feel that there shouldn't be anything to be associated with uh, Tinumbu. The man has to face what he needs to face, but you can't just, you know, come out with your full chest that, oh, this is it or this is not it. The more you look, the less you see. In this, our Nigeria, <laughs> anything can happen. It is always the case with Sinobu using state institutions to fight his political enemies. I wonder what will happen if he face to, if he face the primary election. <laughs> well, some people believe that. Some people don't believe that. It is just a critical issue. How on earth will you insult me with this? Okay, person. What has Sinobu got to do with this? EFCC works based on uh, petitions and. Was it Tinubu that wrote the petition? Mosu is the DG a political force to, to reckon of Oricon? I don't think so. So guys, let's hear your opinion in the comment section.